Hello, Namaskar and Adab to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide Irfan. Once more with you from your very own channel Astro Assurance, the most comprehensive channel with the most topics on different permutations and combinations about different facets of Vedic astrology on this platform YouTube. We have talked a lot about nakshatra energies, nakshatras of the 7th house, the Lagna Lord, the 10th Lord and so on. However, we have not described in detail each nakshatras. I wanted to first lay the ground of understanding the placement of planets in different nakshatras, how planets behave in different nakshatras first before I lay to detail about different nakshatras. So in this line we have already done about one nakshatra which is Ashwani nakshatra and I want to do go on with all the other nakshatras from Bharani until Revati. However what I am going to do is that I am going to give you a synopsis of a nakshatra first, what it means, how it behaves, what its energies are and how the nakshatra energies will also behave in different houses in your horoscope. However, I will come back with a different series where I will talk more in detail how the nakshatra behaves in different houses but more on that later. So today I am going to talk about the very important nakshatra Bharani, the second nakshatra of the nakshatra series and lying in the Aries sign and the second nakshatra of the zodiac. It is a very important nakshatra also because its nakshatra lord is Venus. Venus also rules the second house which is Taurus and the seventh sign which is Libra. So because Bharani nakshatra is ruled by Venus, so it also brings in the flair or the flavor to an extent of Venusian qualities that also borrow some of the qualities of Taurus and Libra. So I want to talk about the Bharani nakshatra, how different energies of the Bharani nakshatra will give you different manifestation basis how one is able to use the nakshatra energies. So this lies in the zodiac of the Aries sign and its astronomical name is Aratus. It is the star system which is present in the northern western part of the Aries sign. Its gender is known to be female and its ruling planet as I said is Venus. Now among the different characteristics of the Bharani nakshatra, they are related to Venus and so they are Venus like. A lot of its qualities are Venus like. However, because the nakshatra is in the fiery sign of Aries, so it also brings in the flavor of the Aries sign, the aggression, the goal getting component of the Aries sign. So this strongly carries the Venusian energies as it is the second nakshatra and, and the second sign of the zodiac is also controlled by Venus. So it carries the materialistic denotations just like Taurus also to a large extent. Some books, some works or different sages say it defines desire, lust, forbearance, sacrifice, experimentation, fear, materialism, intimacy, sexuality and so on. Outwardly, this person when Bharani nakshatra energy is strong or one is born in the Bharani nakshatra, outwardly it may seem that this person may still seem to be very calm but internally a lot will be going on in the person's mind, the person's heart. One of the reasons is also because the symbol of the Bharani nakshatra is the yoni, the female sexual organ or called the vagina. So because it is both sexuality and the reproductive energy, so it represents the materialistic side but also the life giving qualities. It is seen as a nakshatra of artha or wealth or money or resources. It is ruled by Yama, the god of death and it lies between 13 degrees 20 minutes to 26 degrees 40 minutes within the zodiac and so well within it carries strong desire tendencies as well. This is also seen as aggressive, strong or ugra as it is called or fierce or harsh. Bharani almost always tries to break the societal rules or the taboos in some form or the other. It is very explosive energy which cannot usually be controlled within the societal structure. So sometimes these people also face societal backlash when they seem to be breaking the taboos, the rules of society. However, if this energy is used well, a lot of the material favors can be extracted from it. But it is also seen as an energy which if not controlled can lead to harsh aggression and such actions which can even be based on crime. 
So an afflicted Bharani nakshatra with malefics placed well within it can lead to a person to resort to even sexual crimes or against the fairer gender too. But a female with a strong Bharani nakshatra and a Venus or moon placed in it can give both beauty and a strong sexual and materialistic desire. The same to a large extent can be said of the males too. Now since the symbol is the female vagina, thus high creativity or creation energy can also emanate from the energy if used well. This is also highly nurturing energy for the native who has a strong Aries and so Mars and Venus energies combine because it is the Aries energies ruled by Mars and the Bharani nakshatra energies ruled by Venus. So the overall strength of this nakshatra can be said to be representing both death, transformation, rebirth or you can say birth, then transformation, then death and then rebirth. Now the four padas within the Bharani nakshatra are the Leo, Virgo, Libra and the Sagittarius padas or the, these are the four Navamsa. So depending on which pada your nakshatra is lying or your moon is lying or the house degree is lying, accordingly that energy will manifest more. If the house energy is the degree at which the Bharani nakshatra is manifesting itself is the Leo energies then this person will also show more aggression, more leadership qualities. If the Virgo energies are coming forth, then this person can and also push towards more service orientation, but also with the completion and the perfection orientation that the Virgo energies is bring. If it is lying in the Libra Pada, the Libra Navamsa, then the relationships become very, very important. Such a person can be very, very committed. But if the other person is not being able to value this person then the opposite side of the relationship orientation can come in where the person looks for solace outside of the relationship so one has to be very careful and if it is the fourth pada Sagittarius then this person can also be very sexually experimenting also crossing the boundaries of society also to be able to get along or be more adventurous and even risk taking of their sexual energies and the intimacy which they can find outside or with many other partners. So, to summarize their strength can be characterized as creativity, valuing, appreciating, nourishing, nurturing. Such people are also often outspoken, will speak their mind and do their kind and they may not worry so much about the consequences if they have put a heart and mind to a goal even which society may resent or push back. They are not hesitant to like what they like and do what they want to do often shamelessly and sometimes with a sense of pride in their process and action. So one can call such people unabashedly Bahrainian if one can use that term. So there is the sense of arrogance also but large heartedness also to which such natives if strong Bharani energies are coming out but also with the softer aspects of the Bharani nature also manifesting itself. And since it is both materialistic as well as creativity oriented so this person can also be sometimes very good at both creativity as well as for material success. These people are very highly goal oriented and sometimes they can go to extreme lengths to achieve their goals. If one has a strong Mars and Venus then the Bharani energies can be very very strongly powerful especially if it's in the Lagna or the 10th house or the 5th house or even the 11th house then lots of success can come their way through their career and lot of societal adulation may also come in through creativity either in arts or in business or in industry or also in material success especially 5th house can be connected to the arts 11th can be connected to societal causes, the 10th house can be connected to artistic or creativity oriented professions and once they put their minds on something they can be relentless in their pursuit unless they are bored out of the chase. This can also be very good in business, in dealings, as healers due to the Aries energies and so these people can be good entrepreneurs to the travel or tourism industry or even profession related to writing or publishing. These people can also because of the Bharani energies can be very good writers of the sensual subjects or highly fictitious creations. They are very free will but very sincere in their work as well as well as in their relationship unless pushed to the extremes of other partner is not resorting to commitment. Sometimes because of lack of discipline and patience they often are not able to persevere 
especially in demanding professions and tasks. So these people sometimes tend to move between professions or businesses, especially if success eludes them for long in that profession, in that task. So the main challenges for these people are not being able to restrain their materialistic or the sensual urges and may often fall into trouble because of this. If highly afflicted, either Mars or Venus are seen in the Bharani Nakshatra, say for example in the 7th house, or in the 8th house or in the 12th house, then the person may also overindulge or cross the ethical boundaries of sensual pleasures. However, if it's in the 3rd house, for example, this can give high energy to go to extreme lengths to achieve their goals. One can become a very important, one can become a strong entrepreneur or get into self-enterprise or in business, which can also be related to online social media related work. In the second house, it can give you high materialistic desires in food, in sensual pleasures, while in the sixth, it can give you profession related to the opposite gender. In the seventh house, it can give you good success in partnership oriented businesses or enterprises or even working with the spouse, while in the ninth, it can help one become a consultant in tourism studies, in relationships or travel related businesses. In the 12th, it can give you good success in foreign businesses, working with foreigners or even in bank or financial institutions. In the 4th, high strong Bharani energies can give you a tendency to chase material possessions such as houses, vehicles, jewelry, etc. or expecting too much out of the domestic life. So people who are spontaneous, energetic, go-getting, goal-oriented, who like material success, love intimacy and creativity are the people with strong Bharani energies. So people who have strong Bharani energies should use them accordingly while those who have afflicted Bharani energy should be little careful in their, do it, in their dealings in going their own way in business or in relationship or in indulgence such as sex, food, addiction etc. Sometimes they can by not liking others to control them may themselves become control freaks without realizing. So one should focus their Bharani energies more towards creativity and positive outputs rather than purely sensual or materialistic pleasures to get the best out of those and to be able to use the strong Mars and Venus energies more creatively and more constructively. So friend, now that we have talked about the Bharani Nakshatra, in which houses it can give what results, what are the tendencies, what are the flips and the flops of the Bharani Nakshatra, how it can give you good results if it's in strong strength or if it's afflicted, what challenges it can give. See where your Bharani Nakshatra lies depends on where your airy sign energies are and which Nakshatra is manifesting itself strongly. For example, if you have the airy sign in the fourth house, one of the Nakshatras, either the Ashwini or the Bharani Nakshatra will be affecting the fourth house stronger basis which degree a fourth house lies. For example, if your fourth house lies between the 13 and 26th degree, then the Bharani Nakshatra obviously will be strongly manifesting itself. So keep in mind that the degree of that house is very very important and if moon is in the Nakshatra, obviously the Nakshatra will manifest itself but then the Pada also becomes very very important. So friends, understand your Bharani energies in which house it is how it is manifesting itself related to the result of the houses as we talked about and use these energies constructively and look out for the negative challenging aspects of Bharani which can really put you into a tough spot. So friend, like this video, share this video and if you are looking for a personal consultation from me, please reach out to me at the links given below. Till some other time with some other video, this is the friend astrologer and guide Irfan signing off. Ciao.